Hi guys, welcome again to another Deciding Factor Extra show. I am John and this is Barb. Hello. So today we are going to have a little fun, I believe, right Barb? We're going to have a lot of bit of fun. All right. And coming up, you will see on our normal podcast, Wendy, who is down below and she's going to join us on another embarrassing segment with us. So Guys, stay tuned. This is the Deciding Factor Extra. Bringing you their thoughts on today's news and current events. Coming to you from Austin, Texas. This is the Deciding Factor Extra. Extra. With your hosts, Alton Hill and John Herzog. Hi guys, welcome back. And Barb, tell us what kind of trouble we're going to be doing now. We have a new kind of trouble today. Today is the would you rather extra. Anybody ever been to middle school? (laughs) Nope, nope. Skipped it. I was homeschooled. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no jokes about that. Okay. Um, All right, Wendy, since since you are our newest victim, uh, you get to tell us. We've got five questions. Would you rather get stung by a stingray or by a scorpion? Ooh. Oh gosh. Um, okay. I, I just moved to a different state from living in Phoenix for 21 years where I was never stung by a scorpion. Although every house we lived in was full of them. Ugh. I'm going to say a scorpion because the stinger is so much smaller. Mm. Good logic. Go ahead, John. I would say the same thing, but my logic's a little different. A stingray killed the crocodile hunter, so I'm staying away from the stingray. But the other problem is, is their barbs are jagged, and sometimes they stick in and stay. So I'm out. I'll take the scorpion, even even though I've already been stung by a scorpion at 2 a.m. in the morning, which sucks. Yikes. Crocodile hunter died by stingray? Are you serious? Through his heart. Yeah. You really didn't know that? I didn't know that. How could he not have died by a crocodile? That makes no sense to me. Just. Yeah. What was. Okay. Well, I was going to say stingray, but now I'm a little freaked out. I was going to say stingray because at least then you're in the ocean, but all right. No, no, no. He was actually doing (laughs) a show during uh, the time in which he died. They got it on camera, but they will not release the footage and uh probably rightfully so yeah you know that staged pr stint like sure he died through the heart and you know yeah whatever okay question two would you rather watch three days straight of cheers reruns or a nightly episode of the man Mm. i the mandalorian's the star wars crap on disney plus right it's the baby yoda the baby yoda (laughs) Yeah. Oh. So what do you think, Wendy? I am going, as much as I love Star Wars, I'm going with cheers. Really? I love to laugh. Going with laughter. Hmm. Wise choice. I I mean, I, I like the long-term things. I want to sit and watch things over or you know, over a course of several nights. But Cheers does not interest me at all. So I'm like, let's rip the Band-Aid off. We'll, we'll do Mandalorian and move on with our lives. John, have you watched any Mandalorian episodes? Haven't, and I probably won't. Okay. Uh, remember that time that I was like, hey, John, you have to watch Hamilton. And you get halfway through Hamilton, and you're like, this is the longest movie ever, right? And I get this text like, why I want my life back. I think that, but times a thousand. Mandalorian is the most boring television I have ever seen. I wasn't going to say Yoda? it. Oh, sorry. Well, welcome to me. Uh, yeah. What was it, Yoda? Do we care? Oh, my goodness. I would rather watch people sit and be drunk for three days straight than have to sit, watch a single more mm, Alone I am. I, I, yeah. I he doesn't even talk. <laughs> exactly. Whenever Baby Yoda showed up, it was great, but it, it is a slow <laughs> moving show. Really yes. slow. Get, wow. Really slow. Gets to the end of every episode and it's like, oh, look, Yoda's floating by that guy we don't care about. And then the credits roll. <laughs> it's awful. Oh. It's well, sad. I guess I'm going to re- regret my decision later, huh? 
Yes, you will. Just like not liking Ham- uh, Hamilton. Okay, number three. Would you rather never wash your hair again or have to wash it using hand sanitizer? It's very I, I would definitely go for the hand sanitizer. I couldn't not wash my hair. Gross. So that's just a, like sort of a mean question for John. Sorry. You could like substitute beard if you want. Since... <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have to buy shampoo anymore. I just do body wash all over. That's all I need. So hand sanitizer would be fine. Okay. I would choose not to wash it my burns, hair. It burns, I bet, though. Yeah, Especially yeah. if it gets around your eyes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow. And I heaven just choose forbid, never to wash my hair again. Heaven forbid you should have a paper cut on your thumb when you go to wash your hair with hand sanitizer. Ooh. That, and if you just stop washing your hair, okay, again, this doesn't apply to John, but you could get dreadlocks. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time that I tried to grow dreadlocks? I spent like nine months trying to, I washed my hair only with uh, vinegar and- You got um, dreadlocks? That's the most to. important thing. I tried, to, I tried to dread my hair and it turns out my hair is too silky smooth, even not washing it. I could not dread, it was terrible. Wow. Really so ugly beautiful. hair for like nine months. <laughs> 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 Where were we? Okay, uh, four. Would you rather have Elmer Fudd read an audiobook to you or read Cosmo magazine out loud to yourself? I'm going to go with Elmer Fudd. I don't have a problem with that one. Uh, me too. Give me Elmer Fudd. Yeah, me too. That really wasn't much of a question, actually. Does anyone read Cosmo out loud on purpose? <laughs> don't We're not going to get write... sponsored by them, that's for sure. Yeah, I was going to say, don't forget to write to the deciding factor with but that. Okay. Sign us up. This one maybe came from personal experience. So question five, would you rather go upstairs on crutches or downstairs blindfolded? Mm. Wendy, I'll let you. uh... (laughs) I am going to say downstairs blindfolded because I feel like I could feel my way. Going upstairs on crutches sounds unbelievably awkward. Yeah. I feel like I'd absolutely go backwards if I had to deal with crutches. So mm. I'm out on the crutches. I'll go blindfolded. Plus, most staircases have hand railings. So I'll do that. Or or I'll be like a kid and I'll just slide down on my butt all the way down. Now that's an interesting um, that's an interesting choice. So here's the thing. I'm in week four of uh, being on crutches and I am a, a piano player. So I, I play for my church and where the piano is, is on stage. Okay. So I don't know if this is like this for you guys are, but there's, there's this moment at the end of the sermon where it's like the piano player needs to get back up to the piano in time to just be sitting there as if you were there the entire time. Right. You add crutches to that. Not only did I manage to fall on my face on the way up, like that's on the way up. (laughs) Yeah. Um, it didn't make it in time. So there's this awful, like crickety and we're done. And now turn to page. Like it was horrible. Afterwards, they're like, you know, it's a stage. There's a surface elevator. Don't you think that you could just like ride the service elevator up? And all I could picture was get to the end of the sermon, music in the distance, ding. Here's your piano player. Crutch. Oh my I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Yes, I agree. Blindfolded going down. I'm gonna give you an option C Barb though. Okay. Blindfolded in a laundry basket sliding down the stairs. Oh, it's not even a choice. I would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Definitely. When I was a kid. I did that all the time. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I've broken at least one basket. Just saying. And my sister got blamed for it. So, you know, <laughs> it's okay with me. <laughs> yeah. I think we didn't usually use the basket. We mostly just use our, yeah. You don't just, yeah. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. But yeah, I did contemplate that on Sunday. I'm like, it might be actually less embarrassing for me just to sit and scoot down the stairs <laughs> than to actually launch myself. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. Nice. That's our five questions. All right, guys. It was fun. Wendy, thanks for joining us on another little fun show that we do. And make, make sure y'all listeners check her out on the podcast. It is very interesting. And somebody might have changed their mind on that podcast. So guys, stay tuned to the regular show, The Deciding Factor Podcast. And we will see you on our next extra. Take care. Everybody say bye. Bye. 
This has been another episode of the Deciding Factor Extra, giving you food for thought on real-life issues. Be sure to click, like, and subscribe to this podcast, as well as all your big social media outlets, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Don't forget to check out our website, thedecidingfactorpodcast.com, and give us comments and feedback. Until next time, stay safe and keep an open mind.